Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1689 and thank you so much for joining me for it. Thank you also to everybody who's subscribing to the show and thank you also especially to the patrons who help bring you this daily dose of Star Wars joy by supporting me at patreon.com slash sw7x7. So, we're going to round up some Star Wars news, some bits and pieces of things that have been announced over the last little while, and it kind of goes across the spectrum of Star Wars media. First of all, let's talk about what we didn't talk about yesterday regarding Episode 9 and the end of Principal Photography. So, when J.J. Abrams was the director of The Force Awakens, the title for The Force Awakens was actually released within a week, less than a week, from when Principal Photography ended for The Force Awakens. So, now that Principal Photography has ended for Episode 9, dun-dun-dun, you can see where this is going. So... There is, I think, a reasonably decent chance that we could get a title next week, which would be absolutely fantastic. I don't see it happening on Monday, and it was a Monday that the title for The Last Jedi was released. But because of the fact that we have a holiday weekend here in the United States, I'm not anticipating that it's going to be on Monday. I think if it comes next week, it's probably going to be on the Thursday or Friday. It was a Thursday for The Force Awakens, so I'll put my money on that Thursday, which would be, what, the 21st? Yeah, the 21st. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. I think that'll be a great one. But speaking of the title, apparently there was a a question asked to um, Dominic Monaghan about you know, various things. He was being interviewed and somebody asked him about the title of episode nine. And he said, only one person knows the title of episode nine, and that is J.J. Abrams. And we've sort of had a hint of that thinking from Pablo Hidalgo, who tweeted at some point not too long ago, if there is a title that he doesn't know it. My question about this is, does Chris Terrio not also know the title of this thing? I find that to be a little bit odd. And Chris Terrio, of course, is the co-writer of Episode 9. Obviously not the co-director as well, just J.J. Abrams directing it. But why would he not know the title of Episode 9? Why is it only that J.J. knows? That seems very strange to me. And it also seems very strange that Kathleen Kennedy possibly doesn't know this either. Like These things seem really kind of outside the realm. So, you know, maybe it's just from Dominic's perspective, that just the director knows and that's it and that's all that he's working with on a day-to-day basis and maybe he isn't seeing Chris Terrio in the midst of whatever work he's done on the shoot. So maybe it's just more of a personal interaction or anything like that. But anyway, so keep your fingers crossed for February 21st, you know. I think that would be a really awesome thing to do, Lucasfilm, if you're listening. All right, so... That is that particular movie. Now, moving on to other movies, apparently Ryan Johnson was moved recently to comment again on his trilogy of movies. And he did come out on Twitter and say, yes, I'm still doing a trilogy. And I guess Screen Rant, I guess, is the name of the website that published some story saying, oh my gosh, the Ryan Johnson trilogy may not happen after all citing whatever sources or whatnot and apparently not legit ryan johnson has come out publicly and said nope i'm still doing it so you know i don't know how many times we have to hear somebody saying like oh you know they're gonna kick him off this thing no they're not gonna kick him off this thing so we have a ryan johnson star wars trilogy to look forward to sometime in the next uh three years ish four years ish something like that so at least the start of it for starters. So so that is all the haps that we haven't talked about recently on the movie front. On the Disney Plus front and the Mandalorian front, well, there was another interview, not with John Favreau, not with anyone else that you, you know necessarily would think of immediately when you think of the Mandalorian, but one of the folks who is being brought in to direct at least one of the episodes of the Mandalorian. And that would be, here we go with pronunciation, Taika Watiti, who is the director of Thor Ragnarok and What We Do in the Shadows and other good fun stuff. 
And he, of course, is directing one of the episodes, at least one. So he was at the Television Critics Association. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. At a press tour for them. And he stood up and talked about, you know, directing and the surreal experience of it. But one of the things that he said was really kind of surprising. And it had to do with the fact that he is suddenly directing at one point 50 or 60 stormtroopers. The quote after he says that John Favreau is a genius and so smart and good at what he does, he says, it's fun doing something in the Star Wars universe. It's strangest to see a stormtrooper. And then you're doing these scenes with 50 or 60 of them. It's amazing. So let me get the quote right. So that naturally is a bit revealing. I mean, we're seven years after the events of Return of the Jedi. So we are in 11 ABY and stormtroopers are still kicking around. What is going on? I mean, that in itself should be highly newsworthy. And I don't think I ever saw anybody reporting about the fact that, hey, stormtroopers are going to be kicking around seven years after the Battle of Endor. Um, you know, the Galactic Concordance being signed after the Battle of Jakku in 5 ABY, you know, they were supposed to be confined to, you know, a small sliver of the core and inner rim, basically, the Empire, whatever the you know remnant of it was aside from the ones that obviously went off into the unknown regions to eventually form the first order but yeah maybe they aren't the only remnant and you know there have been other remnants basically so for example there was a group that got away in lost stars the novel by claudia gray and was hiding out in some nebula we don't necessarily know whether they joined the folks that jumped away at the end of Aftermath, Empire's End. So, you know, maybe this could be a separate Imperial remnant that is still living out the Imperial dream, something like that. But the fact that there are stormtroopers kicking around in this should definitely have been a newsworthy thing, in my opinion. And there is one other big news item that was announced on Friday that we will talk about here in just a second. But first, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the show if you're not doing it already. And hopefully you enjoy this enough that if you're not a patron already, that you'll consider supporting me bringing this to you every day by joining me at patreon.com slash SW7X7. So the big news announced on Friday is that Force Friday is coming back, but it's not one, not two, it's three. It's a triple Force Friday, as they have described it. And it's in support not only of Episode Nine, but also of The Mandalorian, and also of Star Wars Jedi colon Fallen Order, the new video game that's coming out late in 2019. And of course, they're not saying a heck of a lot about it just yet, just that it's happening at 12.01 a.m. or starting at 12.01 a.m. on October 4th, and a variety of products from toys to collectibles to books to housewares to apparel and more will be involved in this, which makes it pretty much similar to what we've seen in Force Fridays previous to this one. Rather remarkable that The Mandalorian is going to be a part of this and also rather remarkable that Jedi Fallen Order will be as well. You know, they haven't done a heck of a lot with the licensed product sort of thing for the EA video games with Battlefront and Battlefront 2. So I'll be really interested to see if they do more with it this time, and especially since, you know, it's character-based, comparatively speaking. They have opportunities to do more with it, or they will, I think. And The Mandalorian, if they treat it like a Star Wars movie where they start merchandising it in the same way, that'll be very cool as well. I think, though, the thing that really kind of piques my interest is the is the books, basically. You know, we've looked at Force Friday stuff in the past and read the backs of packaging descriptions and, and whatnot just to see if there's any new information that we can learn about the movies coming out. And I imagine we'll do the same thing for Force Friday this time around, too. But the books, is that's really where the action is, where the journey to Episode 9 that we expect is going to be happening, where we'll get some background information. We may also get something similar, like the journey to the Mandalorian and the journey to Jedi Fallen Order, or at least something to tie into each of these three properties. I don't think it's going to be just for Episode 9. So I think we have some very exciting stuff coming down the pike and October 4th I will be at whatever is going to pass for a Force Friday place at this point unfortunately Toys R Us is now gone that has been my go-to that's where I went for 
Force Awakens, for Rogue One, and for The Last Jedi. It's a little sad that it's not going to be possible for Episode Nine, but wherever there's going to be a midnight event, I will be there for it and we'll be able to share with you, you know, first looks at the stuff that's coming down the pike, which, you know, the nice thing about being on the East Coast is that if you happen to be enjoying the show on the West Coast, then you'll be able to find out some things three hours earlier than the rest of your friends. (laughs) So that right there is going to do it for our wrap up of other Star Wars news bits from the past couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.